hi guys welcome back to me here please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're aware when i post it. so today i'm going to be doing a video about comparison between nigeria and ghana i'm actually not too comfortable with this comparing nigeria um, this person is bad this place is this um, this country is this and you talk down on this one this country is fighting this one even on social media i get to see a lot of social media war about nigeria ghana nigeria and ghana and i'm like why are we actually doing this like is there any reason for some kind of competition kind of it, why not we just complement each other and talk about and talk about each other's strength right and that's exactly what i want to do in this video i want to talk about the strength and the areas where this person is actually doing so well and where this one can you know improve on that's what i want to do i'm not going to be bringing some form of hate speech or you know trying to talk down on this country to make this other country feel better no i, I actually don't think that's nice right so now i'm going to be talking about the things that i listed out some things that i'm going to be pointing out i'm going to tell you where i, I think he's doing better in each not that the other person is not doing now my number one is going to be in governance yeah. governance in both countries we know is actually not where it's supposed to be but to me i'm actually going to say ghana is doing better definitely for, i'm a nigerian I'm, I'm going to be very very truthful here yeah a lot of us know i'm not going to pull down my country yes i know the government is actually not doing so well but it's not like africa actually has this general thing with governance so some countries are worse than the other not like they, i don't think it's actually any country so to the best in africa but i'm not going to pull them down everybody have their challenges like i keep telling people that when they want trying to tell me your country is this your country is that i'm like which country doesn't have challenge even the biggest of the countries you think you know they still have one issue or the other that they've not been able to tackle it's just that some are more than the others right so in terms of governance i'm gonna go i'm gonna pick ghana because uh, sometimes i even use our population as an example and people tell me what about china what about india now this is africa the countries you're talking about how many years ago did they get their independence and just like i said there's a thing with africa and development in africa is not at the same pace with some of these countries you're mentioning yes you can tell me china is doing so well today but there was a time they had to take the bull by the horn to do so well we are getting there gradually like it might it's just just a matter of time i'll i'll, I'll keep using the population factor because let me use the example of a family check a family of four fam father mother and two children and a family of maybe 16 you can easily control a family of four than you can control a family of 16 so that is just how it is i'll keep using the population factor because we have different tribes we have so many tribes everybody's thinking differently you know there are so many things you know that makes it the way it is but in terms of governance right now i'm going to pick ghana ghana because you know just like i said it's not like they are perfectly perfect they are still we still all have our challenges a lot of things oh. are easier than it is in my country you know a lot of things are easier to come by than it is in my country and you know it, i just give it to them i give it to ghana in that one not like i'm condemning the other country to make the other person feel better but ghana my number two will be cost of living in terms of cost of living i'll go for nigeria because things are relatively cheap in nigeria i mean accra and i can tell you that I keep things keep going up i don't know why and I, sometimes i just try to like what is going on like why do things just keep going up but let me look looking at accra and abuja because yeah those are the two capitals abuja is expensive when it comes to rent and accommodation real estate but every other thing feeding you know food stuff all those things are relatively very 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 cheap in abuja but coming to ghana almost everything is expensive so when it comes to cost of living or standard of living i'm gonna be picking nigeria my number three will be our hustling spirit honestly when it comes to hustling hustling nigeria has to be the number one in africa if not number one in the world 
going to say that because, ha, in as much as the government has really not done so much, you know, the work of the government is to provide enabling environment for the citizen. The government has not done so much, but I find out that a lot of Nigerians have actually moved past the government. Nobody's actually waiting for government again. In fact, nobody's even waiting for white collar job. Everybody has just created, not everybody, but, you know, a good percentage of Nigerians have created wealth for themselves and they are doing so well. Like, a lot, I've seen young, vibrant Nigerians doing so well. You can see somebody now being a CEO and of his own company, he has created his own brand, you know, and it's create solving problems. And one thing I've come to realize that the bigger a people are, the more the problems you need to solve. And that's why China as an example now, they have a lot of problems in their society and they are solving it. And that's why China almost, China is ruling the world now with their economy. Like, they, they turned their population, you know, it's, instead of them finding faults, you know, though the government was actually helpful, which is somehow what I'm getting to see in my country right now. Everybody is, is now turning the challenges around them. They are solving the problems and making money from it. So when it comes to hustling spirits, you know, you know <laughs> give it to Nigeria. Nigerians are very, very enterprising. The government have actually brought out, you know, the tenacity and the strength of a lot of Nigerians. That's what you know, because come to think about it, if the system is totally working, a lot of people who have gone out there to go and hustle, you know, to become better today. I see a lot of comedians buying houses, buying cars, you know. Unemployment drove them into discovering their talent. That's what a lot of people don't know. You see a lot of our singers, everybody, you know. Unemployment drove all of them into thinking, you know, they actually to think outside the box. And thinking outside the box has made a lot of them millionaires today. So what I'm going to be looking at, what a lot of people are hearing, bad governance. Yeah, I understand Nigeria has problem with leadership, but in terms of people, let's come to think about the ratio of people who are now making it in the country. It's actually increasing. It's increasing by the day. It's actually increasing by the day because everybody's doing something, selling something, is solving a problem. Well, not everybody, like a good percentage of Nigerians are now converting, you know, all these weaknesses now to discovering better ways now to get things done for themselves. Because of that, now we have a lot of um, enterprising Nigerians from car manufacturing to small, almost all the malls in Nigeria are owned by Nigerians, supermarket, tech companies. A lot of tech companies in Nigeria, in Nigeria now are owned by young Nigerians. These were people that would have just gone out there to go and get maybe a bank job or something. But the jobs are actually not there. So instead of sitting down in the house, a lot of them have created a lot for themselves. Innocent Motos now, from an interview I saw him, you know, in, he was talking about how his car manufacturing company is the only car manufacturing company in Africa, right? So I've actually seen a lot of Nigerians you know, do so well for themselves. So for all this spirit, I'm going to compliment Nigeria for that. Four will be standard of education. In that, I'm going to pick Ghana. I'm picking Ghana because Ghana um, certificate is actually more valued than a Nigerian certificate, being that, you know, now let me still talk about this. This is still a government thing. You know, Nigeria used to be a place where the government was they were actually the ones we had a lot of government schools you know government schools because they were cheap they're not suddenly maintainers and a lot of things went wrong then lecturers were not paid as at when due before we knew it they started having strike all kinds of issues they coming up before we knew it you know a course that's supposed to be four years ends up being six years seven years you know, but I've never, I've not heard of such in Ghana where maybe schools go on strike and all that. But I'm picking Ghana because I'm talking about the tertiary, but when it comes to primary and secondary, we are almost at par in that one because that one is mostly private. But when it comes to the tertiary and the value of for certificate, Ghana certificate is actually more valid than Nigerian certificate now. But kudos to a, a lot of private universities and Christian universities that are coming up now in Nigeria. And they're actually ranking very well, like a lot of universities now, like Covenant and some other top ranking universities now are actually coming up there. The number of universities in Ghana is just about 44. 
then sometime 10 years ago nigeria had just 80 well, currently nigeria has almost 180 universities right now so the private sector is actually taking over from the government because government lacks funding lacks a whole well, for lot of standard of education like i said i'm going to be giving it to ghana i'll compliment ghana for that right so when i talk about population in nigeria you understand because the competition is much everybody as you're coming out you know they want to go to school yeah so because of that a lot of nigerians now have to have to send their kids outside because demand is more than the supply the demand for education in nigeria is more than the supply so now with the private universities coming in to take up a lot of things it's actually helped you know so probably we have about just 90 government universities and the many ones are private university and i think that's a good one like 180 170, between 170 to 180 universities that's what we have currently in nigeria you know but when it comes to like i said education standard of education i'll give it to ghana but academic qualification like when it comes to academic qualification msc phd nigerians have that Yes, I'm going to compliment Nigerians in that because Nigerians love to go to school. That's still the part of the hustling thing I talk about, you know. Nigerians actually love to go to school. So I'm going to compliment Ghana in standard of education, but I'm going to compliment Nigeria in qualification, like academic qualification, their certificates and all that. Nigerians just, I mean, they love to have such things. My number five will be security. For security, I'm going to give it to Ghana. I'll compliment Ghana there because Ghana is naturally a peaceful country. I've been here for a while now and I've hardly heard of those. Some people still tell me, yeah, they still have prisons like correctional centers and we have a lot of people in there. Yeah, people, there will always be crime in any way. But I'm talking about the rates at it now. Ghana is relatively peaceful. So for security, I'm going to give it to Ghana. I'm, I'm going to compliment Ghana there. Not like Nigeria of course we hear about a lot of things but sometimes it's just a particular place it's not like everywhere in the country there are places in nigeria now that i've ever never heard of one one maybe killing or the other before yeah there are places like that and there are places where you get to so for security i'm gonna give it to so ghana my number six structural will be development well in this one it's a little bit it was a little bit tight for me when i was trying to talk about it but I'm going to compliment Nigeria. I'm complimenting Nigeria because I'm going to be, I'm, I'm looking at both the two capitals, looking at Accra and Abuja. When we look at these two capitals, you actually know that in terms of infrastructure, Abuja has a lot of it because Abuja is actually a very well planned place, very, very planned and, you know, neat, detail. It's actually a capital. When a lot of people talk about Nigeria and the things they don't like, a lot of people focus more on Lagos. And Lagos is actually the commercial now center of Nigeria, you know. But you com most times you compare Lagos and Accra. You no, know, it's actually supposed to be the two capitals. If you're going to be comparing, compare Accra and Abuja. So in terms of infrastructure, to Abuja because of the road network, you know, companies, so many things, you know. I'll give it to not like Accra does not have it, they have it, but the higher percentage goes to Abuja. If you actually visited Abuja before, I think you understand what I'm talking so about. So my next will be entertainment. Entertainment in entertainment and everybody actually everybody knows which 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 uh, I'm gonna be complimenting Nigeria here. Okay, for entertainment everybody actually knows which country it is so in this i'm going to be complimenting nigeria because nigeria has actually put africa in the map when it comes to entertainment yes we've had the biggest artists come out from africa from nigeria and most of our artists have actually done you know they featured other big artists drake um so many of them they've actually featured the biggest shows come out of Nigeria, Big Brother Nigeria, um, Nigerian Idol, you know, so many other shows you get to hear of. The biggest artists, the Davidos, the Bonaboy, the Whiskey, the Tenny, the Tiwa, you know, so many of them. Like, I've been to a couple of countries and 
and if you go to shopping malls and you're hearing a Nigerian song, guy, right? people vibe to these songs even when they don't even understand the language that I spoke of. Of course, you know, in normal Nigerian artists, either whether the Yorubas or the Igbos, they still get to have a feel of their native language. You know, they still have to put their language in the song, and you still get to see people, you know, vibe to this song, and it gives me so much joy to see that actually they don't understand what you're saying but they understand this thing is it a word will be recognized you know grammy bet the mtv you know so i'm going to compliment nigeria for that then is it in the gospel in gospel we have the biggest you know pastors preachers come out of nigeria right the biggest gospel singer sinach nathaniel basi messi chinwo you know from Nigeria, so they've actually put um, Sinaj has done. I've seen her in Joel Austin's church, I've seen her do feature, you know, so many big top gospel singers out there. A song way maker sometime last year hit 100 million views on YouTube. So, for that, I'm going to compliment um, Nigeria. Electricity, I'm going to compliment Ghana, Ghana, because Ghana has better power supply than what we have in Nigeria like 24 hours power supply once in a while you get to see the light out and the highest light out i've actually seen in ghana should be like maybe seven hours or eight hours morning till about evening outside that light on the general is every day you know you get to see light so i'm gonna give it to ghana in nigeria there are a lot of places now who have about up to 20 to 22 hours of light maybe daily some might not have up to but on the general, I'm talking about on the average, let me just say maybe 15 hours of light daily. But for this one, electricity, I'm going to give it to Ghana. <laughs> My next will be tourism and vacation. For this one, I compliment Ghana here because all over the world, from the year of return, a lot of people, you get to see a lot of foreigners come to Ghana because of tourism and vacation. You know, they just can come to Ghana to see what Ghana has to offer. The world right so for this i'm going to give ghana they have a lot of tourist places a lot of places they've actually developed for tourism you know and it has i think that's one of their major source of revenue in ghana so i'm actually going to give that to ghana ghana you're doing so well in my that. next will be fashion when it comes to fashion sense and creativity i'm going to give that to nigeria yeah i'm going to give that to nigeria because our fashion sense the creativity remember when i was talking about government government has pushed a lot of people to finding out the best for themselves and i've come to see a lot of creative design come out of nigeria from ibukai who doesn't know ibukai it is dress sense when it comes to the big brother um you know the, fa the lagos fashion week hosted by gtb you know you get to see a lot of you know designs come out from this you know you see events hosted in nigeria and all the dresses all the things you see the ladies wear are all nigerian made like i get to see toke i get to see nancy these are presenters and you see them wear uh locally made you know clothes by uh nigerian designers so i just give it to nigerians on that fashion their dress sense you know their taste for it i'm gonna compliment nigeria there not like Ghana does not have but like I said I am not comparing I am complimenting I'm complimenting both countries because both countries they have done well for themselves they have their strengths so I'm going to I'm picking on the strengths of these two countries I'm not condemning anybody it's not in my duty it's not my duty to condemn because it's actually very easy to criticize go find yourself in a leadership role some of you have just been heads of your home you know how well it's how it's actually not even easy to do it so instead of a rundown i think it's best to just compliment people where if you know the strength of this person compliment their strength and just manage their weakness right so that's exactly what i've done here so both countries they have their uniqueness and they have areas where they are doing well for themselves so that's why i just said to just compliment so instead of fight on the internet for things that don't learn to just compliment each other where you have your strength nobody's actually perfect everybody have their challenges both countries have their different challenges and we are africans you know you know <laughs> and we are even west africa so instead of fight on the talk about the good just talk about the good and let's leave the other things things are going to get themselves sorted out 
with, as time goes by, I know the issues are there, but talking about it has never really done anything. Right? When you keep talking about challenge, talking about challenge, and you're not preferring solution to it, it doesn't actually make any sense to me. So instead of talk about the challenge, let me compliment the ones I'm seeing that are good, right? So that I feel that's what every other person should be, to, should be doing here. If you have other things you think I didn't mention that you feel each of these countries have, kindly drop them in the comment section. Yeah, so don't forget to like this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification so you're notified when I post new videos. So till I come your way next time, bye.